Hi, my name is John Sowash, and I want to give you some tips on avoiding the iceberg in your classroom. Now, the iceberg occurs when you post too many active assignments into Google Classroom at one time. So an iceberg is a very large chunk of information. You can see all these different posts. The problem is your students are only seeing the tip of the iceberg. They only see the things at the very top. And in most cases, that's probably a single post. Now in the newspaper business, we used to call this above the fold. That's the content appear, that appears above the, uh, the horizontal fold in the, in the newspaper. And in Google Classroom, you have the same kind of situation. You don't want to post too many active assignments to your classroom because they'll disappear below the bottom of the screen. And if students don't scroll down, they'll miss that information. So a couple of ways to avoid this iceberg effect um, include, first, uh, don't post more than one assignment at a time. Save your posts as drafts until they're needed. You can even schedule them uh, to automatically post at a specific time. Secondly, instead of posting a whole bunch of small assignments, bundle those assignments together into a single post. This is a great application for a hyperdoc. And then the third thing, if you do have a post that gets hidden and students aren't seeing it because it's below the fold, bump it by moving it back up to the top. These are three tips that'll help you avoid creating an iceberg in your classroom and help your students get the most out of the assignments that you post in your class.